Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of weight and mass, specifically how we can use everyday items to estimate uh, those quantities and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So first thing we need to make clear is that when we're talking about weight and when we're talking about mass, we are not talking about the same thing. So weight and that's the not equal sign, does not equal mass. So weight is what we use and what we refer to using our customary units. We're going to look at weight first. Customary units are the units that we typically use in America. And so weight is the act of gravity on an object. Is how much something weighs is how much gravity is pulling it down. So when you say you're 98 pounds or this weighs three ounces, that's actually how much gravity is pulling that object down. Mass is more of metric units. We're going to look at that uh, second. That is how much matter is in something. So if you were to take a soccer ball and you were to measure its weight and its mass in various places around the world, they would most likely stay the same. But if you were to take that soccer ball into outer space, the weight would be nothing because there's no gravity acting on it. The mass would stay the same. So they don't necessarily mean the same thing. Uh, but what we need to do is we need to just look at these three objects. So we have our smallest object is the slice of bread. And it's about one ounce. So think about just one slice of bread. It's pretty light. And if you get 16 ounces, and uh, they are abbreviated OZ, that's going to get us our next biggest object. And that's a pound. So look at this inflated soccer ball. That's about one pound. Now here's the strange thing. When I want to abbreviate pound, it is LB. And there's neither an L or a B in the word pound. But if you ever see the abbreviation LB, that means pound. So it takes about 16 slices of bread and you're going to get about the weight of an inflated soccer ball. Still not an awful lot. Our next jump is this smart car over here. You might have seen these smart electric cars out on the road. They're very, very tiny. And a small electric car weighs about a ton. A ton is the largest unit we're going to look at in the customer units, and it weighs 2,000 LBS. Remember, that means pounds equals one ton. And typically, when we abbreviate ton, it's with a capital T. So we have an ounce, 16 ounces make a pound, 2,000 pounds make a ton. That is all weight. Now let's look at mass. When we're looking at the metric system, we're looking at mass, how much matter is in an object. And there's going to be two major units that we're going to look at, uh, the gram and then the kilogram. There are some intermediate units uh, that in the metric system, every place value or every unit of 10 has its own different prefix, but we really just use the gram and the kilogram. So think of a gram as very, very light. Think of a gram as a paper clip. So think of a paper clip and how much uh, mass is in that object, and it's not going to be very much. And if you're thinking um, of comparing the gram and an ounce grams are usually have much less matter are much lighter than like the slice of bread that was an ounce. So if we want to get our grams into kilograms, it takes a thousand. Thousand G equals one kg kilogram because this word kilo, the prefix means thousand. So you take a thousand grams, a thousand paper clips and you're going to get something similar to this paper dictionary and this paper dictionary has about twice as much mass if you were to compare that with that soccer ball the one pound even though the mass and the weight are slightly different you can kind of say one is heavier than the other this kilogram is about twice as heavy and so if you wanted to convert from grams to kilograms you have 1000 grams equals kilogram stuff you want to to go higher, you could, but those are the two major units that we're going to use in our mass, our gram and our kilogram.